Okay, let's talk about the CASA exam. And specifically, this is in the state of Indiana and the CASA exam, the CASA is an acronym for the Core Academic Skills Assessment. So if you're looking to teach in the state of Indiana, you are going to likely have to take the CASA exam. And on the uh, CASA exam is a mathematics section. So uh, that's the purpose of this uh, video is just to do a practice problem we'll, we'll uh, cover the problem here in a second and tell you exactly what it is but a little bit about myself uh, my name is John I am the founder of tablet class math I'm a middle and high school math teacher even top beyond but um, uh, I do a lot in uh, preparation uh, courses to help people out to pass exams like this so if you're interested in taking my CASA um, uh, math prep course. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video so you can check that out if you like. But what I have here is a problem that you definitely would have to be able, be able to solve um, or have the, let's say, the right level of mathematical ability to be able to solve the problem I'm going to give you. Okay, especially obviously for the CASA exam. And the CASA is going to have basically algebra, geometry, and some uh, statistics on there. So you really got to know, especially like your algebra one, high school level algebra and geometry is going to be really, really key uh, to, uh, to ensure that you're going to do well on this exam. Okay, so let me give you the question, and of course I'll uh, cover um, the, the solution here. So here I have an uh, equation, okay? We'll call this a linear equation with two variables, but I'd like for you to tell me what is the slope, okay? of this linear equation. So if you were to graph this, okay, what would be the slope of this? Okay, now I want to say right up front, there's a couple different ways you can approach this. I'm going to show you one way, but I want to pause the video and, and go ahead and see if you can uh, do this little uh, problem. Okay, so again, this is a classic algebra type of problem, something you definitely need to be able to handle for the CASA assessment. So a good way to approach this, you can see here that this is what we call a linear equation, but we see a line, linear equations generally uh, written in this particular form, and this is what we call standard form. Looks a little like this, okay, so what we call standard form, but there's another form that we can write linear equations, and that is the y equals mx plus b form. Now this particular form here is very handy because you can identify the slope immediately. It's the number, the coefficient in front of the x variable that is the slope. So we can take this equation and rewrite it in this form. Okay, we'll have to do a little bit of manipulation, but once we do that, we can just look at the m and that will be the answer. That will be the slope. So that's that's basically what you would want to do. Okay, now. I'm going to give you kind of like another chance to, <laughs> to redeem yourself if you weren't able to solve this. If you understand what I'm saying, now maybe you want to go ahead and pause the video and, and go ahead and tell me what the slope is. Of course, I'm going to do it here in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow through on what I said we need to do. So here we have 2x minus 3y equals 8. So what we want to do to get this, and this particular form, by the way, is called slope-intercept form. We need to solve for y. Okay, so here we have this particular equation. I want to rewrite this equation with just y on the left-hand side of the equation and everything else on the right-hand side of the equation. And then let me go ahead and just show you how we do this, and then we can go ahead and identify the slope. So the first thing I need to do is subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. All right, so it's going to look like this if you're showing your work, which it should be. And the result of that is going to be minus 3y equals. Now, here you could say, oh, that's going to be 8 minus 2x. Now, I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, I want to put that x uh, term in front. Okay, because I'm trying to follow this format. So this would be minus 2x plus 8. So we're almost there. Okay, now what's the last step we need to take in order just to have y by itself? Well, what I need to do now is divide everything in the equation by negative 3. So this is going to be divided by negative 3. This is going to be divided by negative 3. And so is this part right here. And the result of doing that, it's, you're going to get y is equal to, now here, be careful, this is a negative divided by a negative. So this is going to be 2 thirds x plus negative 8 
thirds. Okay, and when you've done this, it's very easy to identify the slope. Okay, so this is the slope of that equation. Now, notice you have this equation here and this equation here. Well, you might be saying, well, this is a different equation than this. Well, they look different, but algebraically or mathematically, they're equivalent. Okay, so this would have been the most direct path to to find a slope. There's there's other techniques you could have uh, taken uh, to identify the slope, but this is probably the most direct, probably the most common way that most students would approach this. Okay, so just a basic kind of algebra pop quiz to see if you're kind of ready to go for the CASA. Um, again, with these uh, courses, or I'm sorry, these assessments, you don't want to take a chance on not being you know, not fully preparing, you know, as a math teacher myself, teaching high school mathematics, you know, I had to take the practice exam. These exams are difficult. I mean, I have a degree in math and a master's degree. So even if you're really good in math, you know, oh, like I was strong in high school math, you need to go back and review. And if you look at what's on these exams, there's a considerable amount that you're going to be tested on. So anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm always posting math videos. I literally have hundreds of uh, videos on my YouTube channel. Um, that can help you out prepare. Again, I'm going to leave the course, my CASA math prep course, the link to that course in the description of this video. And if you like the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. Um, you know, are you new to teaching? Are you are you switching careers? Are you, you know, obviously you're going, uh, you're striving to be an educator. But uh, I can just tell you right now uh, that teaching. It's, it's ch definitely challenging. Uh, before I taught, I did other things. And uh, unless you actually um, become a teacher, you won't understand how challenging it is, but at the same token, how rewarding it is as well. And it's a profession. You really have to put a lot of effort in to get your certifications and to really get uh, good at your craft. So I wish you all the best. And um, that being said, thank you for your time. Have a great day.